Whoa, what do we have getting delivered today? Well, a little bit of a change of pace. We Here just we go. got the all new Corvette delivered to the house. This is almost similar to the spec that I ordered two years ago. So we finally have one in the driveway, finished off in caffeine metallic. I think this is a new color for 2022. I think so. Let's uh, check it out real quick, see what the spec we got. Okay, I'm gonna push this button under here. There we go. We have a ton of space. I think it's it's a little narrower than the R8, but it's definitely deeper. Yeah, and this interior is nice super pack. nice. We have uh, two LT trim level yep. with the what, LT two seats or whatever they call them, GT two seats. GT two seats with the Z51, so you get this wing in body colored. And we have the Trident wheels, the natural interior. And then there's the motor, what, 495 horsepower? Something around there. We got the, this is the coupe, obviously, so the hardtop can go back here, which I think is a really cool design. This is going to be a fun car to have yeah, for a little bit. Soft... You got to push it. There, there you we go. go. <laughs> we have the soft clothes, which is really cool. You know, we've driven a ton of the C8s, and you guys always kind of give us a little bit of a argument about the fact that we don't ring it out. This yeah. one uh, has plenty of miles on it, 5,000 miles or so. Something like that, So we're yeah. going to actually be able to launch it and uh, actually drive it for real and really see what the Stingray has to offer. Should we get an exhaust rev? Let's see, let's fire this thing up. And I think in sport mode, it'll even let you do that uh, once it's started up. Ready? Yeah. That is a nasty V8. Is that normal mode? I think that was normal. All right, do a quick little rev. In normal? Yeah. So this is, I guess, touring mode. Yeah, touring. All right, sport mode. Ooh. And then track. That is a good sound of V8, I gotta say. We've been in one that had aftermarket parts on it that was louder, but yeah. for stock, that is definitely pretty good. So we have the front end lift. Oh yeah. That was the doors, up. Doors have to be closed, okay. I think. Well, that was up when it got delivered, so we're going to use that to pull out of the driveway here. Yeah, it's super nice it's to have already that. already up. Uh, it's down now. Okay. The doors are to be closed. You ready to take this for a spin? It's been yeah. a long time. Are you excited to have a Corvette? <laughs> I mean, I canceled my order if you guys haven't been following the channel, so this is pretty cool to have it in our driveway. It's not ours, but we really get to see if this was... Did I make a mistake? Yeah. In canceling my order? And is the C8 really, like, you know, that awesome or anything? Because we've never really got to... Uh, play with it the way you're intended to drive it but wow, this is gonna be pretty sweet oh it's automatically racing oh because I guess I pushed it before the door you had already pressed it yeah yeah all right Ooh, we got body color or um, interior color seat belts too that is a pretty cool touch look at the uh, the backup camera there or I should say yeah. you your rear view yeah and then we even have this oh, camera icon let me slow down oh if you slow down there we go we have all those Whoa. camera views too Holy crap. <laughs> a lot of tech in this thing. And there's a nice little view of the V8. All right, so one thing we have not been able to do in the C8 is launch control. And in order to do that, we went to the performance timer. So we have our zero to 60. So that way, that will give us that time. We have to be in track mode, right? Yep. And was that already set? Yep, then hit. Just like that? Yep. Uh, let's go to sport. Sport and we're in um, normal mode, right? Automatic mode. Now I think it'll do the zero to 60 timer, right? Because I can't see it right now. There we yeah. go. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three point four seconds is what it, it uh, got there. Not that bad. A little squealing on the tire. Uh, this does have uh, winter tires on it right now, so unfortunately no yeah. summer tires, but wow. 3.4, not okay. too bad. You know, my GTR, I was able to yeah. do about 3.3 on public streets with okay. spinning the tires. So this would be neck and neck with a GTR. I'd barely pull on it. That's all-wheel drive versus rear wheel. Yeah. So traction for rear wheel. Yeah, this has all the power back there. It's pretty impressive. 
Top end's decent. I think this car is really fast from a launch for sure. Like that's actually, that's yeah. fast. From a- uh, I can get up and move. Yeah, from an acceleration, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not the crazy fastest, but that's why they got the Z06. Yeah. Whew, man. Should we get a clip from the outside of that? Yes, we should. All right. Yes, we should. Let's do it. All right, so let's do this from the outside and see what it looks like. All right, let's hit it. <laughs> that is a nasty acceleration. It sounds so cool. Wow. <laughs> Man, the CA, this, this is a pretty fun car. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty sweet. Yeah? It sounds so good. <laughs> I'll have to hear it. It sounds really, really good. My zero to 60 on that one was 70 seconds. It, 70. it reset after uh, I went on the gas from the other way. Yeah. So you have to be off of that page and then restart it. Mm. Anytime you accelerate, it starts. So first initial <laughs> impressions of actually driving a C8. Yeah. Launch is insane. That is so much fun. Well, my heart's pounding. I mean, I was yeah. running down the street a little bit, but my heart's pounding. That was it's not like crazy fun. dramatic because it's not a loud core. Yeah. If it was loud, it'd be a little bit more like, oh yeah, we're going. But Some it's just like, this. it's just yeah. like go, yeah. And if it had summer tires, it wouldn't have spun it. We'd probably get closer yeah. to the three second mark. How much did it spin? Like I could feel it, but it felt like it hooked after like, uh, half a second. It actually spun more, it felt like on the outside of the car. Yeah. I'd say at least 30 feet, maybe something like that. Okay. But yeah, launch, launch cool. control in the GT, or no. I almost said GT, I'm so used to saying that. Launch control in the Corvette, not bad. All right, this is a good opportunity to take the roof off now. So we got these latches, push that, push that one. That. And then uh, one person can actually do the roof. And then of course the convertible is also available if you don't want to do this manually, but you just pull it up a little bit. Got it? Yep, you got it? I got it, yep. And then this is gonna fit in the trunk in the back, the rear trunk. Was that supposed to be up or down? I think down. Down, all the way down? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Cause it's supposed to sit right here. All right. All right, yeah. wow, it's windy. Yeah. We got the whole leg. Hope you guys can hear us, but. I knew it was gonna be a lot more windy. We're gonna take a look at it with the top off now. It's a good looking car. It is a really good looking car. So did I make a mistake? I mentioned that earlier. Maybe we can talk about that real quick. Do you think I made a mistake in canceling my order? I don't think I did. Yeah. Because I got an R8, but this is a cool car. It's a I'm cool looking car. I'm glad I get to experience it. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to check it out. But now I think it's my turn. You ready? I'm gonna see what this bad boy is like ugh, to drive. And uh, with the top down now, with the wind, we'll Ooh. see what it's like. But this interior definitely is pretty nice. I do like it. Like there's, uh, it, there's a lot of tech. I'm not a techie person. Yeah. That's so if my you only like the tech, with it, uh, it's pretty cool. This is still something to get used to, because I feel like I'm just in my own cocoon here. I don't have much access to, to really yeah. any of that. And uh, you do, it's just still a lot of buttons for all the uh, yeah. climate stuff. Yeah. It's not bad once you get used to it. Really nice materials though. Look at all this aluminum for the speaker housing there. It's around here. Now this is a 2LT? Yeah, this is a 2LT. So, so there's only the 3LT, which would have a little bit nicer materials. This is like a synthetic rubber stuff. The 3LT has actual leather everywhere. We still have carbon fiber trim in the seats. Yeah. I love the front and lift. That's probably one of the best aspects. Yeah. It works so quickly. So let's do a, another acceleration. You gotta have all the fun with the launch. Yeah. I mean, that's a healthy grunt to it for being stock. It's definitely quicker than my car. You know, I, yeah, I kind of go back a little bit on what I said. It, it's it's not not a fast car. It, it's a quick car. Yeah. And now that we can actually redline it, because before, you know, we were short shifting on brand new cars. Yeah. So. Yeah, in the seat. I mean, that's 6,000 RPM. Yeah. It's a pretty fun car. So tomorrow we're taking this to the mountains. 
Uh, we are going to have a really lot of fun. fun. Yeah, we're going to yeah. have like a bunch of GoPros all around it. So check out that video coming uh, in two days from today's video. Uh, this is going to be sick because we can really feel wait. out the handling and uh, yeah. really put it to the test. If it if it had an exhaust on it, it'd make for a little bit more of a at fun least, adventure. At least but... we got the Z51 exhaust, so it is active. When yeah. I go to tour mode, the yeah. exhaust shuts off. Yeah. I love the transmission, it's so quick. Yeah, this is gonna this be This is pretty fun cool. More. I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And then, of course, a few other normal videos on it. We'll have a review video on it, some POV. We've already done a practicality test with this on a different C8. If you guys want to check that out, we'll have that down below as well. Yeah. So we have this car for a whole week. So like Mike said earlier, we don't own this car. It's not, you know, it's obviously not our Corvette. Yeah. But to really have it for a week and use it every day, we're going to take this to the grocery store, actually probably after this video. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have our one week upload. In about a week In about a week. Today. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to live with this car for a week. We're not going to drive our cars at all. We have 300 miles on the range. We're gonna burn a whole tank of gas in this bad boy and really see, see all the like. advantages, disadvantages, pros, cons, wind noise, which is out the window right now. Yeah, not bad. It's not bad, honest. yeah. We'll test out this little roundabout. Always get stuck behind a Honda. No matter what I do, I get stuck behind Hondas all the time. But I got enough power to get around it. So that gets up and scoots. Yeah, it's not bad. Ooh, we got a little uh, bridge thingy. <laughs> so what know. do you guys think? I don't know if it'll make any noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think? Are you excited to see a week's worth of content for the poor of that? We can drive it like we own it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely a nice interior spec overall. A very cool car. Yeah, we got the uh, the camera up here. Did we already show that? We did. Yeah. So yeah, visibility isn't too bad with that camera system. Yeah, we're getting used to it driving it like normal instead of just you know an hour in it. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, quick video taking delivery of a brand new 2022 Corvette Stingray. Really cool color combination, and it's gonna be a lot of fun with what we're gonna throw its way. It's exciting, yeah. So. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's quick video. Stay tuned for plenty more. Throw us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video with the C8 Corvette.